Welcome to Dress Shop, a quick start guide. In the following, we will complete a simple project to show you how to use Dress Shop. We start by launching the Dress Shop icon from the Dress Shop folder and browse for a template picture, an image file of a dress or sketch we will be using to create our dress. Here we choose a 1950s Chanel classic. When clicked, the name of the picture displays in the file name. We need to create a name for the project and also create a project folder in order to collect all our parts for this project. Here we name the project quick and also the project folder by the same name. Once we click apply, the next screen let us choose three different garment types, dress, suit, and cape, or import another OBJ file. The three icons on the right access video, the PDF manual, video tutorial, and info. After clicking the Next button, we are presented with the work screen. We can resize the screen to suit our liking. The left of the screen shows our template, the right the 3D model of the chosen garment. On top there are three tabs, Cut, Shape, and Accessories. We can interact with the 3D model. Make sure that the tools are unclicked and then rotate the dress using the keyboard with the left and right arrows. To zoom in and out, we use keyboard and the up and down arrow. Panning is done using the number lock and the numbers 8 and 2 on the keyboard. Our first task is to shorten the dress. We click the Cut button and the Straight Line tool. We place a dot at the start of the line. To constrain the line, we can use the Shift key and place the second dot to end the line. Unclicking the Cut tool will complete the cut. Since this cut seems too short, we use the Undo button, or Command-Z. The second time, the cut seems to be the right length. Zooming further in with the up arrow, we now cut the neckline. This is done with the Cut button and the Arc tool highlighted. We place the first dot, the middle dot for the bottom of the arc, and then finish with the end of the arc. Unclicking the Cut button will complete the cut. We use the Delete button to delete the excess material. Next we cut the length of the arms using the Cut and Mirror buttons and the Arc tool to make it a sleeveless dress. We delete both cuts. Now it's time to shape the dress. We click on the Shape tab on top and highlight the dress. Following this, we click on the Shape button and draw a line at the hemline of the dress using the Shift Constrain. Once the line is drawn, we right-click, which gives us a box. Grabbing the corner of the box, a green dot will appear, we extend the box halfway up, denoting the area we want to affect. We narrow the shape using the slider or the numeric box. Once we are satisfied with the result, we left click and return to the cut tab to develop the black stripes of the design. First we use the cut and mirror buttons and the arc tool to create the black stripes of the arm. Highlighting the left stripe, we save the item into the library as left. Same with the right stripe, which we save as right. Opening the library, we can actually see what we have saved so far. Next, we create the ring at the neck and save it as neck. Next, we create the belt-like stripe using the Cut button and the Straight Line tool. 
The first cut is made using the shift constraint. To see where we cut the garment, we highlight the area below the cut. This way we can see where we need to place our next cut to create the belt. Highlighting the belt, we save it as belt. Finally, we create the two stripes at the bottom of the dress and save them as upper and lower. Now, in order to make the middle horizontal stripe and not accidentally cut the collar or the belt, we will hide these two items using the radio buttons in the library, which turn on and off each item. Using the cut button and the polyline tool, we then create a box, again using the shift constraint to make it a square, and then save this as middle. Now we turn back all items to visible and save the whole project. To do so, we go to the last tab, Accessories. Here we could add buttons, belts, bows, or other imported items. For the simple dress, we don't need these. Instead, we click on the Export button and save the garment as quick. We are done. Opening DAS Studio, we place Victoria 5 on stage. Next, we use the File Import tool to import the new garment we named Quick. The import format is Bryce, or 24384%. Now using Edit Transfer Utility, we choose Genesis as the source and Quick as the target to make the garment conform to V5. Next, we switch to the Surface Rendering tab to paint the dress. Using the Surface Selection tool, we pick the various stripes and color them black, starting with the neck, the arms, etc. Lastly, we color the remainder of the dress Chanel pink, and we are done. We can pose V5 in a runway pose and even add a spotlight for effective rendering. In addition to a rendered image, there is also the possibility to record an animation.